Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Prestress. Uh, in this tutorial we will be looking a little bit more on fire and how to add a fire load combination in a new file and how to add a fire load combination in an existing file. We will be looking a little bit on the settings and we will make the calculation and look a little bit on the uh, specific results uh, for FHIRE. And uh, yeah, let's start up the program. In order to use the uh, FHIRE calculation, you need Prestress 6.4 or later. As for a new file, I will just start it off with Eurocode and standard code here. And it is basically just like to start an ordinary file. We add the uh, name of the element, the length and the section. And we say add to get the wizard. We add the uh, different loads. So we have dead load and we have a live load. And in order to make uh, a fire load combination in a new file, we have to activate the create a default fire load combination according to the current code settings. In some countries, this button may be checked by default, but for uh, the standard euro code, it is not. So we will uh, click it there. And we now see that we have the last. Uh, load combination here is a fire according to 611 and it's an ultimate limit state. And since we cannot use the wizard for uh, existing files to add the fire load combination, let's open up uh, a new file or existing file. Uh, this is a file that I've done in a previous uh, version and it does not have the fire load combination. So what to do? Yeah, I will just stand on the uh, last of the final stages. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, which one of these? It's just the one that I want to copy regarding the material properties, the uh, support uh, positioning and so on. So I stand there and I change the name and I say that this will be fire and I enter the combination and let's have B1 and the dead load, the installation and the topping and the C factor of the live load. If, if you want more information about these uh, parameters, you can find that in the uh, link below the video. We have a limit state, which is ultimate limit state. The type is fire and we set the dependency to nothing. For fire uh, load combinations, they cannot be uh, dependent of other uh, load combinations because we will go in and change the cross section. I say add, and now the program wonders if I want to copy the uh, properties of the ID number nine. And I say yes. And I see that I just go in and set the fire and dependency to be sure of that again. 
And here now we have a load combination uh, for the fire. If we are going to look a little bit about the new settings, we have the uh, new setting here in the fire tab, which can be found under the element. The fire, yeah, here we can select different uh, fire times, which means uh, uh, that we will be looking for uh, a fire that has been going on for 60 minutes for this element. It is possible to set uh, different fire sides if you want to uh, have it uh, all around, it's possible or if you just want the upper side and bottom side and not the sides it is also possible for this T element it is not possible to just have fire from one side from the right side for instance you will always get it from both sides so uh, let's say that we have it from the bottom and the left and the right sides uh, the concrete aggregate, it's uh, the uh, properties of the concrete, if it is uh, silicon based, like sand, or if it's calcareous, and that is limestone. Different kinds of manufacturing classes for normal reinforcement, for pre-stressing, and these are uh, also depending on the uh, national annex that we have selected. And this is basically the uh, fire settings. Um, since we have a fire load combination, we will automatically uh, have the fire calculation be done. So I will just go into the loads and see that we have dead loads, we have installations, we have live load and topping. As you can see, the loads are just copied from the final stage that I was standing on prior to the copy. And just as previous, just say calculate and uh, we make the analysis designs and then the design and the code control here. As for this case we can see that the uh, utilization in fire here is above 100 percent and that is due to that the uh, cross-section has been lowered the material is not that much used and we can go in and see that in the code check we can go in and see fire and it's the moment capacity and the moment capacity here is lower than in normal loading so um, we go in and can see the uh, table bending this is just as uh, well, uh, the result that you are looking for uh, and can see the uh, utilization here and we are up to 1.5 that means 150 percent we go in to see the table shear and since this is a ultimate limit state we have the uh, results here And now for the uh, specific fire uh, results, we have a table, fire, reduced concrete parameters. And this is a table where we are looking at uh, different temperatures in the middle of the uh, cross section. We have uh, uh, concrete strengths. Uh, module of elasticities, uh, different temperatures, 
and reductions of the uh, cross-section can be shown here. If we go into the reinforcement table, we have the position of the reinforcement, we have the temperature at that reinforcement bar or uh, pre-stressing wire, we have the uh, strength that is being calculated for both the uh, uh, reinforcement and we also have the uh, module of elasticity and different other strengths more in detail in the uh, uh, course material course material below the video and finally we have the uh, temperature gradient where you can actually see uh, the effect that we have uh, on the element and uh, here we can also see that we have a damaged zone and that will be reduced so everything that is hotter than the damaged zone line will not be taken into consideration when we are doing the uh, calculation. So that was a short tutorial of the uh, fire in pre-stress and uh, thanks for watching.